Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Why are so many historic natural disasters suddenly hitting us one after another? For a moment, I would like for you to think about what we have seen over just the past several weeks. The wildfires on Maui were the deadliest in the entire history of the United States. Then, Hillary absolutely pummeled Southern California, Idalia caused immense damage along the Gulf Coast of Florida, and now, Hurricane Lee is threatening the East Coast. If it actually hits a major population center in the Northeast, we could see immense devastation. Meanwhile, large earthquakes are striking without warning all over the world. On Friday night at 11.11 local time, a highly destructive magnitude 6.8 earthquake hit Morocco. On Friday, around 11.11 p.m. local time, a magnitude 6.8 earthquake exploded through the high Atlas Mountains in Morocco, not far from the populous city of Marrakesh. People as far away as Spain and Portugal felt a strange vibration ripple beneath their feet. But millions in Morocco felt the ground shake and splinter, jolt and disintegrate, before thousands of the most unfortunate were greeted by tectonic rage. At least 2,100 people are dead, and that number is expected to rise. According to the Euro-Mediterranean Seismological Center, an NGO, several aftershocks convulsed through the area earlier today. This was a really big one. It was clearly felt by countless people in both Spain and Portugal. The final death toll will not be known for quite a while, but it is rising with each passing hour. According to the USGS, this was the biggest earthquake that Morocco has experienced in more than 100 years. The US Geological Survey said the quake had a preliminary magnitude of 6.8 when it hit at 11.11 p.m., with shaking that lasted several seconds. The US agency reported that a magnitude 4.9 aftershock hit 19 minutes later, and that the earthquake was the largest to hit Morocco in more than 100 years. The epicenter of Friday's tremor was high in the Atlas Mountains, about 40 miles south of Marrakech. It was also near Taubkal, the highest peak in North Africa, and a Caymatan, a popular Moroccan ski resort. In the city of Marrakech, tall buildings violently crumbled to the ground as the ground shook with great force. When something like this happens, your life can be turned upside down in a single moment. Can you imagine what it must be like to lose your home and your family without any warning whatsoever? In mere moments, entire neighborhoods vanish. Entire families are exterminated. Some may be entombed under the ruins of the place in which they grew up or raised their children or reunited with old friends. Survivors of the cataclysmic back-to-back -back earthquakes in Turkey and Syria this February have told reporters what happens next. People trapped in the rubble wait in purgatory, wondering which of their loved ones may still be breathing, many perish inside these hollows of concrete, mud, silt, metal, and brick. And those who aren't physically trapped, who just happen to be far from any susceptible buildings, are still caught in a desperate dread, questioning the reality that seemed immovable just a moment ago. What just happened? Do I still have a home? Is my daughter okay? Is my dog still alive? Where is my wife? I just saw her, we just spoke, she was right there. The survivors in this region of Morocco need our prayers. This is a country that has not seen a tragedy like this in any of our lifetimes, and the royal family has just declared three days of national mourning. Morocco's royal family declared three days of national mourning after the deadly earthquake. Three days of national mourning have been decided, with flags to fly at half-mast on all public buildings, said a statement published by the official MAP news agency, after King Mohammed Vi chaired a meeting to discuss the disaster. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. 
Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Of course this was not the only major quake that we have seen in the past few days. On Friday, a magnitude 5.0 earthquake hit Northern California. A magnitude 5.0 earthquake was recorded in Northern California Friday morning. The quake was recorded at 10.24 a.m., about 7.5 miles west-southwest of the community of Fall River Mills in Shasta County, at a depth of over 9 miles, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. The area is about 50 miles northeast of Redding, and about 290 miles north of Sacramento. According to the USGS Felt Report, close to 200 people had reported feeling shaking in the first half hour after the quake, with a majority of the reports coming from Shasta County, and a few reports from as far away as Chico, and some communities in Oregon close to Medford. As I keep reminding my viewers, it is just a matter of time before the big one hits the state. Also on Friday, a magnitude 5.6 earthquake struck Mexico. A magnitude 5.6 earthquake occurred near the coast of Jalisco State at around 9.53, September 8. The epicenter was about 9 kilometers northwest of Emiliano Zapata. The tremor occurred at a depth of about 35 kilometers, and moderate shaking was probably felt in the immediate vicinity of the epicenter, with lighter shaking likely felt in other parts of Jalisco and Colima states. Then on Saturday, a magnitude 6.0 earthquake hit off the coast of Palu, Indonesia, and a magnitude 6.6 .6 earthquake struck not too far from New Zealand. Meanwhile, massive storms continue to rage all over the world. This year, for the very first time ever recorded, storms have reached top-tier Category 5 strength in every tropical ocean basin in the same year. And now, here comes Hurricane Lee. Lee made headlines all over the world on Thursday when it suddenly strengthened from a Category 1 storm to a Category 5 storm. Hurricane Lee is set to send huge riptides across the East Coast as soon as this weekend, even as meteorologists are still unsure if the eye of the storm will make landfall. Severe surges could generate waves up to 10 feet tall, crashing into the eastern seaboard on Sunday, risking flash flooding and structural damage. The storm system alarmed forecasters after it escalated from a Category 1 to Category 5 hurricane overnight Thursday, as its wind speed soared from 80 miles per hour to over 160 miles per hour in a matter of hours. Can you imagine what such a storm would do to New York City or Boston if a direct hit happened? Let us hope that such a scenario can be avoided. But as I have been relentlessly warning, we are entering a period of great instability when our home will be hit by one major disaster after another. What we have experienced so far is just the tip of the iceberg, and so I would encourage all of you to brace yourselves for the tumultuous months and years that are ahead. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.